So I just got got by a caterpillar. Got me on my arm. I, I actually, I didn't know what had happened. I assumed it was a caterpillar like a week or two ago. My fingers were like really burning. When we were up here in the garden, I, I didn't really know what it was. And then this time, it got my arm and I saw, real quick, saw a glimpse of the caterpillar on a piece of corn. And it's crazy, instantaneous. And it just like stings and burns and it's like, like it, it took no time at all. I don't know what kind of caterpillar it is, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna see if I can find them, put them on camera, look them up. Maybe you guys can help me. But that's what we're gonna do. So it still kind of stings, um, and it's on my arm, and it doesn't look bad, but it feels way worse than it looks. It's just a small little rash, and it's yeah, it doesn't look that bad, but it it burns, and it stings. And it's crazy because it's just it's instantaneous. So we're gonna go back to the scene of the crime over here with this corn and see if we can find out if he's still there and what the heck kind of caterpillar he is. But you see our corn, so we had two storms come by, leveled at the first storm and it, it pretty much stood back up and it was alright, it kept growing. The second storm came, leveled it, and it really stopped growing. Um, we still got some that's worthy of eating, but we probably... We've been just picking it now. It's like little cobs and giving it to the pigs. So it's not a total loss. Um, I don't know why. I think it's because there's some paths for the tractor um, cut out through here all around um, and trucks, you know, up from the road. And I think it's just maybe some wind gusts rolling through here like real hard. But we're going to try to prop them up next year. And this crop we're going to probably try to put... Um, at least around the outside, but at least try to hold them up as a group um, and see if that helps with just like some bamboo and some fishing wire. Um, we'll see. Well, let's try to find this caterpillar. So there he is. That's our guy. We'll go back down the computer. Um, I, I do remember seeing this one when I was looking through and find out a little more information now that we know exactly which one he is. That's definitely him. So that was him. So now we're going to head back down to the house and we're going to find out exactly what kind of uh, caterpillar that is. If you know, and you know anything about it, we're going to find out. But if you already know, leave a comment. Have you ever gotten got by one, stung by one? I don't know, what do you call it? Stung, touch, whatever, by one. Caterpillars just aren't a little a thing I ever really like thought to even look out for up till now. Kinda interesting. So I finished up getting like the squash and tomatoes while I was up there. Before I come back to look here, we're gonna look up the caterpillar now, but check out our haul. We had a ton of squash and we even got a um, Carolina Reaper finally. So I'll make my hot salsa now. Um, just need a couple more tomatoes, but then I'll be able to make my, my spicy salsa. Just been making mild and medium right now with the garden salsa. Um, peppers and then when I get a lot more I make a pepper spray and I'll actually um, I'll actually make a video about that um, it's a pepper spray made out of Carolina Reapers um, makes a little deter uh, dish soap in it to help it stick and it does great for keeping the bugs off the plants I like to use it more than like seven dust um, for probably obvious reasons um, and it does a fantastic job just as good as seven dust easily but we got a lot of squash and we have a ton of squash inside so I think tonight before the food bank opens in town. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get in there and drop off some of the squash because we've been trying to give it away to neighbors, at church, and we cannot give it away as fast as it's grown, which is amazing, um, amazing problem to have. So we're gonna take a bunch down to the food bank um, and just be able to share that around the community. Eventually we're gonna probably set up a, I think probably a trailer at the end of the driveway along the road and, you know, just a box of money people can you know, suggested donation kind of thing for some produce. But right now we haven't set that up and we're still 
fine tune in the garden so that way we can keep that stocked when we do start to do it. So let's go and find about this stupid caterpillar. So we're going to try to figure out what's up with this caterpillar. Um, I'm going to look up that page that I just had open. There he is. A saddleback caterpillar. Because, yeah, it's got that green thing on the back and it looks like a saddle. A cute and beautiful saddleback caterpillar is native to eastern North America. Although it looks better suited for much more exotic climates. Yeah, it looks pretty wild. This one's a lot more red, I think, than that one was. But, anyways, the pert pom poms these caterpillars sport are more than decorative, like much of the rest of this creature's body. The pom poms bear urticating, urticating hairs that secrete irritating venom. Yeah, got that much. The stings are very painful and they can cause swelling, nausea, and leave a rash that can last for days. The so general feeder is generally found on many hosts, including corn foliage, that's where it was, apple, pear, cherry, rose, pawpaw, basswood, chestnut, oak, plum, other trees. So he's probably, they're probably all over these woods and just never come across them. Well, saddleback, saddleback caterpillar. We both learned something today. If you know anything more about these guys, let me know. If you have any experience with them, let me know. That was kind of cool. I never had to deal with a caterpillar, like, sting or whatever before. Um, but it's already starting to feel a little bit better. It's just a dull stinging burn sensation. But, yeah, pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, that's right. We learn things here on this channel. If you like this channel, you like this video, you like what we're doing, please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, because you never know what we'll run into. Like a freaking caterpillar that looks like a Chinese New Year dragon. That's awesome. For now, I'll see you all later.